Episode 36, She's My Girlfriend. Olivia's face, hearing Freddie's vile intentions, turned white in an instant. What do you mean? What are you going to do? What am I going to do? His sinister smile grew, and he had an evil look in his eyes. I'm going to do what a husband does. You've been running around doing God knows what with God knows who, and I've indulged you. But it's time you remember who your man is. He leaned forward to kiss her. Her tears fell freely, and she gasped like a fish out of water. She barely had the breath to utter, Get off me! Go away! He tasted the salt of her tears on her face. You're crying? He said sarcastically. Olivia, are you just happy to be so close to your husband again? Let me go! She kicked out hard. You shameless man! She struggled against his weight on top of her and then felt her leg settle between his. She brought her knee up with as much force as she could, feeling it connect with a satisfying crunch. Ah! His face turned white in pain. He pulled his hands to his groin and curled up around them, moaning in agony. She saw her chance and pushed him off her and then ran away from the car. Despite the pain, he scrambled to his feet and stumbled after her. Help! Help me! She called out to anyone who would listen. Although he was injured, Freddy's pace was still much quicker than hers, and he quickly caught up and reached out to grab her. Just as his fingers grasped at her arm, another man was there, pulling her out of the way and standing in front of her protectively. Olivia. She recognized the voice of her savior. She was terrified. Her face was pressed against the back of his suit jacket, but she glanced upward to see him looking back over his shoulder at her. Mr. Grant, help me! Her clothes were a mess. Her top was ripped from her fight with Freddie, and her shoulders were exposed. The buttons on her jeans were undone, and she hadn't even realized until that moment. Her face was red and wet with tears. Seeing her like this, Mr. Grant instantly took in the situation and knew what happened. I can't stand scum who think they can just take advantage of beautiful women, he thought. But in broad daylight, with people all around, and no one stepped in to help? Well, no one but me. Freddie also had tears in his eyes and was still slightly hunched over. He only saw a man blocking his way. He didn't care who it was. He snarled angrily at the newcomer. Get out of the way. Mind your own business or face the consequences. And what might those consequences be? Mr. Grant now recognized Freddie. I thought it was just scum who dared to use force on a woman. I didn't think you would stoop that low, Mr. Chin. I understand that your child is about to be born. You should be at home with the mother, not out chasing other women. Freddy was stunned. He looked up and saw the face staring back at him, finally recognizing Mr. Grant. Freddy at least had the grace to look embarrassed. Ah, Mr. Grant. Mr. Chin, this does not look good for you, Mr. Grant said meaningfully. Several men have been sniffing around the models at my car show. Are you one of those? I've had a few of them asking me for her phone number, but only you have dared to harass her directly. Freddy was even angrier when he heard this. It's a domestic affair. It would be better for you to walk away. Olivia is my wife. Your wife? Mr. Grant looked back at Olivia again. Is that true? She shook her head. He attacked me. I'll sue him. Freddie's eyes were full of rage as he pointed at her accusingly. You wouldn't dare. Mr. Grant remained between them. Keeping Freddie away from her, he said with a restrained smile, Mr. Chin, you're a talented young man. Would you ruin your reputation for a woman? I'm sure there are thousands of women who would be happy to receive your attention. Perhaps you should chase after someone else. Freddie looked at him suspiciously. You're being very protective of her. Do you just want her for yourself? Mr. Chin, 
you think too much. Olivia is my employee, and she's a capable one at that. Without her, my car shows wouldn't be as successful as they are. As the man in charge, I'm responsible for the personal safety of my employees. Freddy sneered and glanced back and forth between Olivia and Mr. Grant. I see. Are you this other man then? The job is just for show? You're really just keeping her close to you? Mr. Grant said nothing, not even a denial. Olivia wasn't keeping silent, however. Don't you go throwing accusations at me. Mine and Mr. Grant's acquaintance is strictly a working relationship. Well, if it wasn't him, who was it who took you away from the car show? Freddy asked coldly. I saw you. Do you think I'm an idiot? She frowned. It wasn't Mr. Grant who took me away that day. So I guess maybe you're not an idiot. Maybe you were just dazzled by all the stage lights. He laughed angrily. The man who took you kept his back to the audience so no one could see his face. I think Mr. Grant just didn't want people to know it was him. He did it deliberately. There was a look of confusion on Olivia's face just for a moment. Didn't everyone see Mr. Sniper's face that day? Yes, I took her. Mr. Grant calmly replied, It was me taking Olivia away. She's my girlfriend. Mr. Grant's words hit her like a bucket of ice water. What he said didn't make any sense. No, you. Olivia looked at him incredulously. He smirked at her mischievously and looked at her as if he was pleased that she was embarrassed. Don't try and deny it, darling. You know very well that we aren't together like that. Why would you say that? I wasn't ready to admit it before. Mr. Grant draped an arm around her shoulder and pulled her close to him. I'm ready now. Freddy looked back and forth between the two of them. His eyes burned with rage. Olivia was a mess, and Freddy didn't look any better. His shirt had been twisted and wrinkled in the fight, and there were two bright red scratches on his face. He reached up and touched them with his finger and saw the blood on his fingertip. Mr. Grant, I've been married to Olivia for four years. She's not clean and sparkly anymore. I've heard that you have high standards for women. Don't you care that Olivia's been used and discarded? Olivia felt like she had been slapped by Freddie's words. She clenched her teeth and glared at him. Freddie, I told you. My relationship with Mr. Grant is not what you think. My life is none of your business anyway. It's my business now, Mr. Grant said, holding her hand firmly in his palm. I'm her man now. Olivia had no idea what he was trying to do. Have you lost your mind? She asked, tearing her hand away from him. I do have high standards, he said to Freddie with a smirk. I'm an artist, and I'm sure you know that art is subjective. So is beauty. I don't care if she was married before. The past isn't important. With that, Mr. Grant pulled Olivia toward his car. He had switched vehicles for the day and wasn't driving the bright yellow sports car that he had been in the last time Olivia had ridden with him. Instead, he had a royal blue SUV. Olivia instinctively resisted and hesitated to get in the car. I don't know... If I want to go with you like this, you're freaking me out. Why did you just say all that stuff to Freddy about being my boyfriend? Just get in. I helped you get away from him, didn't I? She still wasn't sure what she should do. Thank you for that, really. But the bus stop isn't far from here. I can just walk and take the bus. Mr. Grant was impatient. He frowned and demanded, get in the car. Stop trying to force me to do things. If I leave with you like this, he'll definitely believe your lies. I don't want gossip going around about us being together. It's not true. Who cares what people say? If they want to say something about it, they can say it to my face. I don't care. I'll leave you here. But are you sure Freddy won't come after you again when he sees that I'm gone? She looked behind her at where Freddy was still standing, watching them. He was more intimidating to her than her boss. Olivia bit her lip debating and finally got in the car but instead of getting up in the passenger seat she went straight to the back he looked at her discontentedly Olivia shrank herself down into the seat and avoided meeting his gaze until he shut her door 
Freddie looked out at Mr. Grant coldly and called out. That seemed like it took some convincing. I don't think you understand what you're doing. Olivia is my wife, and I don't plan on letting her go so easily. You'll regret this. Mr. Grant didn't pay any attention to him. He turned around and got into the car. When the car passed by Freddie, Mr. Grant rolled down the window. His eyes were cold and distant behind his sunglasses. Olivia won't come back to you just so she can play stepmother to your kid. Even if she is soft-hearted, I won't allow her. That's it. He rolled the window back up before Freddie could reply. He drove the SUV away, turned onto the main road, and merged into traffic. Freddie gritted his teeth, got into his car, and left in the opposite direction. While waiting for the red light, he noticed Olivia's handbag still lying on the seat beside him. He pulled over on the side of the road, picked up the bag, and rifled through it. He saw their marriage certificate and the destroyed photograph of the two of them. She really is ready to divorce me, he thought. He sneered and threw the bag down. Did he find something else as well? Something that Olivia wouldn't have wanted him to know? <laughs> 